Bravo, 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 Rob. Yes, I brought Dorian with me. Well, I couldn't count on the fact that I, I'd be able to hold it together. The adrenaline is going like this. Can you see as I bumble yes, the bumble yes. the bumble? Yeah. 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 Security stole. Oh, I wanted everyone to know that I came with a purpose. And if this, if this is the last time I get to dress up as Dorian, I'm making it count. Yeah. the fights between the two of you on set. I mean, literally, I'm not alone in saying we could watch those clips all day, right? We could just go back in time. What is it about the two of you and your angst that, that had everybody so in love? Because we love the fights. Um, there was love there. I'm going to so answer. I, the whole relationship between Vicky and Dorian started out of a misunderstanding, where Dorian thought that Vicky had voted to get her off the hospital board, and Vicky was the only one who voted to keep her on. So she went after my father, for his money, which Vicky realized right away. And it, it <laughs> snowballed from there. But it's been the strongest relationship on the show yeah. forever. Also, didn't you sleep with her son, who was much younger? That's oh. another one. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but it was Nathan Philly. Yes. It, it, it was Nathan Philly, and I rest wouldn't. my case. <laughs> Absolutely. And I would do it again for free. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 okay, Dorian and Vicky got into so many, as we have seen, so many screaming matches and mm -hmm. fighting. Yes. What was it like, Robin, to film those scenes? Did you get hurt ever? You, <laughs> you know what it was like? It was like going into the ring with a black belt champion. Because oh, wow. when you knew you were working with Miss Slazak, you brought your best. I would just do everything to be ready to walk on the set and give it my all because I, I had the opportunity and oh, oh, oops, the blessing to work with the best of the best. Well, let me return the favor because I have always said that as an actor, you have to bring something to the table. Every single scene that Robin Strasser was ever in, she not only brought something, she brought a Thanksgiving Day feast to the table. <laughs> And I think our last scenes were so touching and so sweet, and I missed you terribly and after so, that. Robin, I'm, it's so funny because watching, I've been watching you since I was four years old, and I even was a little scared when I when I talked to Robin backstage because you you, so, you would play this mean, nasty little witch, and, and it's just like, and, and now to see you tearing up, oh my goodness, but what will you miss the most? Erica about? Slezak and the clothes. <laughs> Call me shallow. <laughs> I don't care. No. I deserve it. Oh, you there. And maybe the men, because Vicky and Dorian have fought over everything, including those fellows. So let's bring out the man you fought over most recently, none other oh. than Clint Buchanan. Oh. Student, and that's proper placement there because I have to ask you. Yes. Took over the role six years ago, and then but between these two women, <laughs> you are betwixt in love. Between six the years two ago, of them. Um, uh, the Lord put me in Landview, <laughs> and lo and behold, between these two lovely ladies, <laughs> and who does God love? Obviously, me, because <laughs> I have been blessed for the past six years. Before Jerry came on, uh, you know, I asked around and Everybody had wonderful things to say about working with him. Oh, they were all true. Oh. He's, he's... I got emails from total strangers. You're so lucky you get to work with Jerry. <laughs> Everybody loves Jerry. Oh. And they do. And yeah. with reason. Yeah. With reason. Were you and nervous? he's also the Tic Tac carrier. Yes, you I just also, those you know, Robin was in a lot of body suits and showing off her body. Did you ever feel uncomfortable with that or did you enjoy it? In those days when yeah. I had a body, I... <laughs> Heck yes. You liked it? Well,
shoes to fill when you took the role? Were you nervous? Yes, I was nervous. I was very nervous. First of all, it's like being dropped into the middle of a Russian novel. Mm -hmm. and, and I was on page 325 and somebody cued me and said, go. <laughs> and thanks to this lady, who has an encyclopedic memory, mm -hmm. she could fill me in on all who I slept with, who's my children. <laughs> she brought me up to speed on so many things. Oh. But uh, I knew Clint Ritchie and I tried not to emulate him or mm -hmm. act like him. But instead, I chose to act it like Phil Carey. Yeah. <laughs> In the sense that sons become their fathers and uh, yes. daughters become their mothers. What a lovely yeah. way to think of it. We're yeah. so glad the three of you are here with yes. us right now. We want to give our thanks to Robin Strasser and Jerry Verdorn. We are going to be right back with Robert S. Wood. And Hillary B. has been the relationship of One Life to Live's Bo and Nora. Who had sparks flying the moment they met 20 years ago. Take a look. Oh! I'm so sorry. I was in such a hurry. Well, I've spilled your drink all over you. That's all right. It's all right. I'm sorry. It's just club soda, so a little red wine ought to get it right out. Uh. <laughs> Um, someone told me I could find Bo Buchanan out here. You wouldn't happen to know who he is, would you? Well, I'm not sure that anybody really knows who he is. He's a complicated guy. I was a klutz. I apologize. Do you have to be cute? <laughs> it's a tough job, but some... <laughs> Please welcome Robert S. Woods and Hillary B. Smith. Watching this show, it's just like so amazing. I was only three. Though, I was right? gonna say. <laughs> So, I was. <laughs> and you were. Now, Bob, you created this role of Bo Buchanan in 1979. And when you first auditioned, you had to screen test with Erica Slazak. What do you remember about that day? I remember. I, well, there were two roles I screen tested for, and I wanted the first one, and I didn't want the cowboy role because I heard he was a jerk. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then... Uh, after we did the screen test, I got back to Los Angeles, and they said, well, what'd you, th you still think he's a jerk? And I said, no, it was really cool, you know? And they said, well, good, because that's the one they offered you. But after we finished the test, guess who went in the booth and said, I would lean towards this guy. I'm on his, I want this guy. Agnes? Oh, Erica. 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 Oh, my God. Yes, I went to the producer, and I said, if there's a choice... And this was a producer who didn't, who didn't particularly listen to actors. But I said, if there is a choice, I said, this guy is just awesome. Wow. It was so cute, I can't tell you. <laughs> I, was, I was pregnant with my son in real life. And so the audition was done with me sitting behind a desk. Yes. And Bobby came in all kind of cowboy. And, oh, God, he was cute. <laughs> well, you know, you two guys have these very steamy sex scenes, yeah. scenes right? Oh, yeah. And somebody told me, Little Bird told me, that you guys like to fool around and tease each other when you were behind the scenes, is it, doing those steamy... What did you used to do? <laughs> I'd like to know who told you that. I don't know. I can't really be in my sources. Did my husband say anything? <laughs> I 
had these things called woodsies. Well, I called them woodsies because I always wore them when I was with him. Yeah. They, they were these cups that taped on you. Yeah. And yeah, and that, so we had this one scene. We weren't in bed though. That was this. Right. She That's pulled right. on. Usually I pull something on her. She got me on this one. What'd you do with the woodsies? Well, I had she them on, them. and I was supposed to drop a robe, which actually was a scene that we came up with. And I, I dropped a robe, and the camera was from behind, so all you saw was my naked back going down in his face, which he had a fake mustache on and he, like this. And I had written, uh, Hi, Woodsy. <laughs> there you go. He never saw it. I said, what did you mean? Look, look. He goes, I was looking everywhere. <laughs> Gentlemen, you know. So you guys, you okay, boy Nora, you guys have been you guys have been married twice. Now the first wedding, you guys were married by little Richard. Mm -hmm. And then you guys and you guys uh, you guys Need danced the down the aisle. Let's take a look. Do you have that? Well, little Richard showed up for blocking, and then we, we started rehearsing and blocking and everything. It took forever, and then all of a sudden he announced, you know, I'm only here until about 5 o'clock. I got a gig. Oh, wow. So we did all his close-ups yeah. and everything in the wedding, and then we were actually married by Ray Hostin. <laughs> it was our stage, our stage manager. manager. Oh, really? Yeah. That's funny. Now, Hillary, I hear on the last day of filming, you got a very, very special present from Bob. I what did. was that? It was very beautiful. What was it? Do we have it? Oh, do we have it? No, get it. Seriously, this man means a lot to me, and I'm probably gonna just um. I'm for clamped. Oh. She's for clamped. <laughs> <laughs> this is my. my it's my rubber chicken. It's sort of been a part of... Uh, it's now my rubber chicken. Yeah, it is, because it, it's uh, the, the targets. Hillary and uh, Phil Carey. Yeah. Philly, I used to terrorize with this. There'd be a scene, and so all of a sudden, if you, can, if you see this thing back and it goes like this... think of each other of you of him what does your husband think of him and your wife think they of you they don't really know what we do for a living they don't <laughs> Clear, our okay. spouses wish we were our characters. Yeah. Uh, and Hillary, we love you so much. Thank you so much for giving right. us what you have given us. Thank you to Robert S. Wood and Hillary B. Smith. We'll be right back with Cassie and James DePava. And stay tuned for Daytime History when Judith Light reunites with her One Life to Live castmate for the first time in almost 30 years. love story of Cassie and James DePiva has spanned almost 20 years. <laughs> but as Max and Blair, love often equaled pain, literally. Take a look. Where are we? We're in Ace's tack room, where he had his heart attack, remember? Oh, what are we doing here? What? Shh, shh, shh. Max, the... Max, you have to be very still. You drugged me. You drugged me and you, you brought me here. What? What is going on? Max, it's all right. Don't worry about a thing. I have good news. In fact, excellent news. I have finally figured out a way to cure your brain damage. 